Hello again, Josh Beiser from GameWisdom.com coming at you with another Buying of Isaac Rebirth play. Our last one ended in failure, but hopefully we'll have a better turnout this time. Lazarus again? Now let's re-roll that. I don't want to play the same guy twice in a row, just to keep things interesting for the folks watching. So, re-roll. Come on, something else. Kane, alright. Kane was one of the more popular characters in the first game thanks to his luck foot, which gave him an increased luck and also made him better at using pills. However, that was nerfed in Rebirth, so now only PhD gives you a greater chance at getting good pill drops. But, he's still a decent character thanks to his increased luck from the start. And he's got an eye patch, so how cool is that? Alright, Mega Gluttony. Not a tough fight. Just gotta pay attention to his tells. Oh lord. Lots of health, but it slows me down a little bit. bomb to get that hidden rock in the gluttony room. What we gotta deal with these guys. Okay, one down. Okay, watch out for this. Oh, that was close. Oh, ran right into him. Now watch those corners when you're going around guys like that, so you can sometimes catch up to you. Alright, something good. Yum heart. Eh, not good item. Just gives me an extra point of health, but it's not really that useful in the grand scheme of things. I really want to find that bomb though. Maybe I'll go into the store. I have seven cents. Alright, there's the boss room. Just gotta deal with these guys first. Alright, we'll go in here, maybe we'll buy a bomb. Oh, oh yeah, soul heart at least. Okay, Let's see there's one last room up here. Maybe we'll get lucky and no. to top off my health. And it's the haunt. Not a tough fight, but it could be a little annoying dealing with these guys first. Alright. Now for him. Again, he's gotta try to keep ahead of the direction he's moving in to avoid his shots. That and dead. What do we have? Health. And for once, I don't want all this health. Okay, this could be annoying. Tough, but just a little time consuming. Yeah, 
in, you're going to try to take them out in a little bit of an order just to make it easier on yourself when it comes to dodging. Don't be too close when they spawn as well, because they can sometimes pop out in different directions. Okay. Almost got him. Come on. And dead. And I got nothing but a troll bomb for that. More freaking spiders. Not a key. There's a shop, but I don't really have the money for it. Okay. Again with the spiders. And these guys will explode when they die. Just like that. Alright, swallow penny. Piggy bank. Alright, so now whenever I take damage, I'll drop money. Oh boy. Watch out for that. So we got a key up here. Alright. Really want some more damage increasers. Maybe we'll get a deal with the devil after this room, or this floor. Okay. Still, I need some bombs. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Small rock increases my damage. Pin. Alright, where are you, Pin? There you are. Necronomicon just summons some help. Eh, not worth the heart, I guess. Alright, moving along. We're doing really well. Kane is obviously extra lucky. Oh, not another darkness room. Wow. We're getting a lot of these little bosses here, aren't we? And of course, this guy is just pay homage to Bomberman. Mr. Boom. All right, pheromones. Ooh, that's a really useful item. This one will auto-generate a prayer heart. If I get two, I get a full point of real health. Hmm, do I really want it though? I have five health normally. We'll hold to the bomb for right now, and then maybe I'll come back for it later. All right. Careful, got a lot of danger here. Oh, he almost got me there. Hmm, free bombs, how nice. Ugh. More of these chasers. Watch out for that big guy. Alright, doing well so far. Coming good. Ooh, the knife. Mom's knife from a previous play. As you can see, it changes my weapon. This does incredibly high damage, but it's just a little trickier to aim with. Haha. -ha. 
The longer I hold down the charge, the farther it will shoot out. Ooh. There's our humbling bone from the previous play, so now I get double of everything. Very nice. Wow, he really is lucky, ain't he? Okay. Got some money. Just gotta charge it up. There we go. These guys, almost. Now I can actually just stab a guy with it by getting really close to him as such. Nice. There's our boss. Alright, do I want to go for that item? Uh, yeah, I have the double bomb effect from the humbling bundle, so I didn't want to go for it. You can see Mom's Knife is a very powerful item. Just gotta be really careful how you use it. More hearts. Alright, let's go for it. Usable eternity. As you can see, I got a little half of my prayer heart. So that means when I end this level, I'll get a full point of health. Or a full new heart. Alright. Is that it? Not bad. Again, this run is going incredibly well, thanks to some good old-fashioned luck from Kane. If you time your, if you let go just right, you can do a diagonal by letting go both directional attack at the same time. Come on. Oh, I just did that. Damn it. Well, I got some money at least. Okay, boss, the dark one. Alright, darky. Alright, you dark demon. You're no match for my knife. Done. And we got some stem cells for extra health. Okay. You know what? We got the free health. Let's spur splurge a little bit. So, Spear of the Night. Now I'm floating in Ethereal. And Dark Bomb. He'll grab any extra hearts and maybe give me some free stuff in the process. Wait a minute, what am I, a moron? I'll just do this. Got another point of health. I can fly now. This just got really great. And, just because I can do it, I'm gonna head back to the shop, buy that, I think there was a battery in here. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, the BFF item. This enhances all the babies or followers I get, but I don't have a lot of them right now, so I guess it's not really worth it, but I can get some basically recover all the health that I just traded away. Not bad. This run is definitely turning into a winner. Alright, where are we now? Seems like we've been playing for a while. But hopefully this floor will go by pretty quickly. Another boss? Damn. Every floor we're having a mini boss. The chariot. Let's me fly or become vulnerable for a few seconds. There's another arena. Okay, we have a curse of the unknown, so I don't see exactly how much health I have. Key guy. Oop. I've got some money at least. And come on. Oh, 
there's our boss fight already. But again, we really want the treasure room. Oh. Secret? No. Wasn't Flay amazing, folks? Okay, one more. Where are you? These guys again. There's a little treasure rock. Crystal skull. I forget what that does. I guess it just enhances my curse ability. Alright. There's some enemies in here. Perfect thing is by killing these guys over the pit, he doesn't spawn anything. Unlike that case. Alright, more health for the Dark Bomb to take. And thank you. Ooh, and the PhD item. Again, that basically gives me... chance of always getting good... good pill drops, excuse me. Definitely want that PhD item. And the treasure room. How lovely. Well, everything right next to each other. And more money. Okay, this will. I think. I forget what it does. Oop. I'll keep that. Just to uh, slowly fly my way back over here. Nice speed up, perfect. Just what I needed. So now with the PhD, Kane is basically at his state that he was in the original Isaac, which means things are going to be going really well for us, I believe. Give me my keys. And the boss is the Fallen. Alright, maybe we'll get a good uh, devil item from this fight. Oh, and we did the Pentagram. Increased damage. And just the time to use it on Krampus. Oh no, you don't. And good. Damn, we are really kicking ass. Come on. Alright. Moving right along, we have full health again. Alright, this could be a little dangerous. We're dealing with hopping guys who are set on fire, which means that they jump a lot farther, and they're faster than they would normally be. Perfect, got more keys. Oh. He dropped a heart, but I have full health. Eh, doesn't really matter, actually. Okay, balls of steel, perfect. More health, because apparently I need more. <laughs> keys. Money, money, money. And we'll give some to him, why not? More keys. And more health. Uh, this again. And I gotta watch out for him to explode. Don't 
Don't you love being able to fly in this? Alright. These guys would be annoying, but what's the fact that my knife will pierce their front defense? And little haunt. Perfect. This will cause enemies to run away in terror. And we got a shot. The broken clock. This, like, bleak is a chance for enemies to slow down or be faster in a specific room. Not a good item. Not worth it, I think, to pick up. And again, it's more destruction with this knife. Coupon lets me buy one item for free. Mm. I'll keep it, you never know. Alright, Monstro 2. Remember, he's the more difficult variant of the original Monstro. So once you follow his pattern and it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, it's not that hard. Cardboard box just gives me stuff. We don't know what kind of stuff. Bible track. More speed. How lovely. Um, I'm gonna keep the balls of steel for right now. Mm, eh, don't really know what that does, so I'm just gonna go. Damn. Just kicking some ass this play. Watch out for that thing. And just gotta deal with these last two, one, and dead. <laughs> he'll grab that heart for me, and maybe he'll give me something for it. This one, I'm not even worried about health. More keys. And some more health. It's a big battery. I think this gives me double energy per room, maybe? Uh, we'll find out. Hmm, not sure what that does. <laughs> he just died immediately there. Alright, moving right along. Let's find that treasure room and then get off this floor. Alright, we got some mom hands coming down to cause us some trouble. Come on. And that was easy. <laughs> get some more health. And we got the peeper, plop. So now we have my little eye following me around. Perfect, it was the, uh... Oh, it's giving me some money. Okay. It's my, um, eye behind the eye patch. Alright, got a little army of guys here. Alright, this mom fight should be very easy. <laughs> I'm stabbing her. Using mom's knife on mom. Oh. And that should tell. Alright, we got plenty of keys, so... Mm, you know what? We'll go hell this time, because we haven't done that in a while. Okay. Got bees paw. More soul hearts. And I bet spiders. Yep. Alright, here we go. Utero and oh, a lot of these guys. Just gotta walk right next to them and just pop them with a knife. Do, 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 do. And oh, almost got hit there. Nothing. You're no match for me.
And more keys. <laughs> Hope we get some more pills, too. Okay, these leeches again. Very annoying enemy. But when you can fly, it sort of mitigates their danger. Alright. Another one bites at dust. Alright, super pride. <laughs> More luck. Might as well go for it. Mm, eh, not worth it, I said, I guess. Alright, gotta kill this guy quick. Oh, the battery is storing more energy. So even if I own... Oh, so this would be great for if I have an item I want to use for a specific circumstance, but it's already full. Well, this has to be basically charge another level of it. So that way, if I need to, I can use it twice in a single room. Range up. Great. And we are moving right along. Oh my god, just, just cut the whole guys down there. Okay, let it charge for a few more seconds. The only thing about the knife is you can't see the charge duration on it, so you still have to go by, play by ear. Okay, another one dead. And what do we have? Death. And I'll keep the balls. More health for him. And again, I don't need it because I have full health. This is insane. Alright, you're no match for me. And another one dead. More money. One more and dead. Where are you, boss? Okay, I'm falling for that again. Man, it's still charging up there. How many charges do you get? <laughs> this is the most, like, insane run I've had in a long time. Eh, you can't hurt me. And another little guy. My goodness, this is just an insane run right now. Alright, I can't see, unfortunately, but it shouldn't matter too much thanks to my badass knife. Alright, where are you, boss? It still is charging. Uh, be careful of the black leech because he will explode like that. More bombs. Okay. And dead. This may be a record for, like, easiest run so far in Rebirth. I have, I have just about infinite health. What the hell hit me? Oh well. I can just do that and get another point of health. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Got him. Another point of health for me. And we just gotta deal with a few more of these guys. Come on. Whoop. Because <laughs> of my piggy bank, I get money each time I get hit. Go back over here, grab that point of health. More health. Oh, 
Ooh, close one. Doesn't even matter at this point, I got so much. the boss already. Alright. Just gotta time the knife so it stays on the body. And dead. <laughs> Alright, we're moving right along. We're going down. And it's time to take revenge on Satan from our last play. Oh, good. I got enough money to just give him almost all of it. Bombs. Come on, give me something good. Mom's coin purse. Oh, lots of pills. Tears up. Speed up. <laughs> And even more health, because I need it. Two of diamonds? Oh my god, I am just loaded for bear here. More health. These guys are very dangerous if you don't kill them in time, but we can kill them pretty quickly. And you again. Didn't I just kill you? Did. There we go, full health yet again. Just spin along here. Close there. And got him. More health. What's he gonna give me this time? Okay. We're getting some dangerous rooms, but just the sheer awesomeness of this run is overwhelming them. What now? Luck up? I guess I'll take it. Alright, this guy. Very annoying fight, but we have so much damage potential that. You can see how quickly he died. Oh my god, I wish I could get some money as power right now. <laughs> money, money, money. Oh good, the dark one again. Ah, I ran right into it. Alright, revenge. Alright, he's down. Okay. And dead. Not bad. More speed up. You're no match for me. Oh. Damn you. Wait, what hit me the second time? Okay, there we go. Dead. We'll go back and grab some of that health. Or I just do that. Uh, anything else? Oh, more health. I'm just gonna grab that hard quickly because you never know. And remember, these can get very nasty in these final areas. Okay, more health. Oh, well, let me pick it up because I have full health already. No matter. We should still be well on our way to winning. That could be famous last words. Alright. Like, time and life just right. Should be able to take them all in one hit. There we go. Oh, a little too fidgety with my knife there. Okay, come on. One more. Okay, he's down. Now for his big brother. Alright, he's down. And now, one more time. Where are you, ladies? Wow. 
Wow, that was a record there. Okay, now we're on to our final area. Let's see what we get. All right, the dark room. First, troll bombs. More troll bombs. Pills and soul hearts. Okay, eh, nothing good, unfortunately, but that was to be expected. That's why I don't like to go too many times to the dark room. All right, killed. First dark one. I guess it's apropos that we're fighting dark ones in the dark room. All right, he's down. Oh, the notch axe. Nah, don't need that. <laughs> Come on, pop him. Another one bites the dust. This guy would be difficult if I didn't have my knife. Wow, I have full money. Alright, this could be. This is another tricky fight if you don't have a lot of high damage. Just because of the fact they move around like uh, air hockey pucks. Boom. Oh, I forgot about him. The Onk. Eternal Life. Oh, might as well grab it. Ah, oh, yes, our ghost friend from before. You're no match for me. And he died. The hangman lets me fly, but I can already fly. Ah uh, yes, these guys, yeah again. Again, I want to kill them as quickly as possible before that happens. But we got them in time. Wait for the light to return, and ooh, it's a gluttony parade. Time to chop these guys up. Just gotta watch out where I'm standing through their brimstone. Okay. Almost. <laughs> there we go. More hearts. Where is this exit? Alright, the carrion queen that would produce basically an infinite supply of toxic poop. But I'm not too worried because my knife can penetrate into their weakness, which is their butt. <laughs> Again, Final Isaac's not exactly the most family friendly game out there, but we love it for it. Okay. Now to finish him off. Come on. Oop. Running in terror. And dead. Oh my goodness, I'm just so surprised at how well this run is going. Alright, Mega Man. Very annoying fight if you don't kill him one quickly, but one at a time, these guys aren't that tough. Alright, where are we? Haha! <laughs> oh my goodness. This is like the perfect revenge against these guys. Come on, get back here, you. Another one bites the dust. And, and we're finally at the boss. Okay. This is a very annoying fight, again, if you don't have the high damage. Because a lot of these guys together means a lot of brimstone, just like that. Okay, one more. There we go. And boss time, the lamb. So I'm gonna keep my knife right on his body. It's a pretty easy fight. Just do this. Da, 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 da. Come on, you. I'll chop you up. <laughs> Look at this! Da, 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 da. And dead! Wow! That is definitely a victory. Alright! What a far cry from the previous run was that. Just goes to show how much a little luck can pay off, and what the right upgrades can do. You can see Mom's Knife is definitely one of the higher tier items, if you can master the timing for its attacks. And with that, our win streak is back up to 1, and I'm going to call it a night now. 
Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out a lot. And if you want to catch these plays live, go to Twitch and look for my user channel. That's GWBicer. And make sure to go to game-wisdom.com for a post and podcast relating to game design and the industry, as well as our Patreon campaign to secure some very much needed monthly funding. Make sure to check all that out, and I will see you real soon. Take care, everybody.